Big break in the Tampa serial killer case. Police have arrested this 24 year old at a local McDonald's. He's now charged with four murders. ABC's Victor Akendo is in Tampa with more on how they caught him. Good morning, Victor. Good morning, George. A co-worker at that McDonald's alerted a police officer who happened to be inside at the time, telling them that Donaldson had a gun on him. This is a huge relief for the people in this neighborhood who have been living in fear for nearly two months now under constant police patrols. But now a suspect is in jail. I am pleased to announce that tonight we will be making an arrest in the Seminole Heights murders. It's the news residents in that Tampa neighborhood have been waiting for. Police arresting a suspect in the case. 24-year-old Howell Donaldson III facing four counts of first-degree murder. Our affiliate capturing the moment he was taken into custody outside a local McDonald's where he works. Thank you. Um, for having the courage to step forward and doing the right thing. Police receiving a tip about a man with a gun from one of his co-workers. First of all, he told my boss to hold a gun. He told him to hold his book bag for him. And, but he said, don't go in the book bag, whatever you don't go in the book bag. And so she went in the book bag and so she found the gun. And after finding the gun, she just called the police. Bebo Johnson says Donaldson has worked at the McDonald's for two to three months. And when police responded, they tackled him to the ground. It's kind of crazy, I mean, that he was here with us the whole time. The arrest comes 51 days after the first murder when Benjamin Mitchell was gunned down on October 9th. Since then, Monica Hoffa, Anthony Naiboa, and Ronald Felton were all killed as they walked alone at night or early morning. These surveillance videos of a suspect, the only clue. Justice will be served, and then the process will occur when this individual rots in hell. Goodness has won. For nearly two months, the neighborhood has been on edge. Police saturating the area, now hoping they can breathe a sigh of relief. The men and women of Tampa Bay and uh, all over Florida have taken care of this and handled this appropriately. All along, police thought the killer may have lived in the Seminole Heights neighborhood, but according to the arrest report, Donaldson says he has no affiliation with the area. There are still so many questions here and no word on a motive. George. Okay, Victor, thanks.